Spanglers. My name's Nick Spangler, and it's just been a pleasure to meet you, Tyrell. Cool. Thank you, man, for inspiring me. <laughs> it's a neurological issue, but I can't, I can't reliably get up and work. What's your motivation? What's your motivation in life right now? I, I gotta get up and keep, keep living, cause I lost my dad back in October just last year, and. <laughs> He was, he was my motivation for the longest time, and I thought for a little bit after he passed that I would lose my motivation, but I'm, I'm pushing myself more now because I have to. I, I want to keep him proud. I know he's gone, but you know he's still going to be here just by what I'm doing. Hey, man, that was motivation for me, for real. Thank you, man. It's, you know, if they can't keep living, you got to do what they would want you to do. You got to live twice as hard and do everything to make yourself proud of yourself just as they would have been proud of you. Yeah, I don't, I don't make no excuses. I literally, like, leave the country, like, by myself. Mm -hmm. Like, just me. I don't wait for nobody, but none. You shouldn't. Don't, don't let anybody else hold you back because life's going to hold you back on its own. You just got to make do with what happens. Like, like you did. I mean, you brought yourself back up from not even being able, to, being able to walk. That's like it's inspiring. And I, I I've had my share of medical issues, but that right there just makes me want to never lay down and, and give up. What's it, crazy is that's that's my whole wave right here. Is mm -hmm. Like literally, I say it could be worse, and I say chase your dreams, and I say never give up. Like I say those things every day. That's, that's literally every day. Yeah, I'm that glad you're doing it because it, it's people like you who can give somebody who, I've had some, you know, some bad shit happen, but it's definitely put it in perspective and made me want to push harder and keep succeeding because I, I can't lay down and just let this win just because I couldn't, like I used to work as a nurse for 10 years and I can't reliably make wake up. Make it left, make it left. Yeah. I can't reliably wake up, so I gotta make sure I have money right now until I get the right medicine to, I guess, get my sleep disorder under control. Cause I, I want to be a nurse again. I want to get back out there, and I'm doing this right now. Is, and it is pays it fun? Well. It's, it's entertaining, and I get this is the best part is I get to meet people I never would have met, and I'm not even being corny, but like specifically you, like I probably wouldn't have ever seen you. That's crazy. But doing this job I get to meet so many people I never would have seen and talk to so many different people from different walks of life different perspectives and it just that's, it's refreshing yeah that's how I be when I travel man just be meeting people from everywhere and giving you that worldly perspective it helps it'll It'll let you find uh, find a way to dig a little deeper and motivate yourself more, because you know it's the world is a much bigger place than a lot of people a lot of people will ever know. Yeah, man. And it's people like you that are out there living it, and that's part of why I want to keep living it too. <laughs> you motivate me without even trying. That's crazy. <laughs> Thank you, man. If I can do that, I would I would love to motivate more people. I. Uh, I have a medical stop condition. Right, stop right, stop yeah. right. Yeah. I have a medical condition that I used to. I've given a couple uh, lectures or talks at MCV. Yeah. And I'll stop this, but it's called Ehlers Danlos Syndrome, but it's what caused my sleep disorder and everything. But it's. I just try to be a motivator for other people and try to inspire them to, you know, keep succeeding because some of them are wheelchair bound. And that's not me. I can ride a bike still, and I'm proud of that. That's all I can say about that is like as long as I can keep riding my bike, I'm gonna be happy. <laughs> oh, that's dope, man. You just inspired something I'm about to do. I'm about to <laughs> start up Cab Chronicles, man. <laughs> that was dope. See, that's you should just have a conversation with all the cabbies that we got here, cause there's some there's some stories they can share about themselves and some of the people they've been with, and I I know that we like to talk. <laughs> Uh, cab drivers definitely like to talk. <laughs> that was dope. I'm definitely.